Recently, we have discussed about the Azure load balancers and the types. Now, here we are going to configure our internet facing load balancer into our Azure. So, for that, let us move to our portal here. So, for creating our load balancers, I'll be moving into my load balancers here. And here I'm going to create my new load balancer called as NLP1, load balancer 1. Okay, I'm going to create an internet facing load balancer. So already we have discussed about internal load balancer and internet facing load balancer. Your internal will work within your uh, network and your virtual machines while the public or internet facing will work on your public so that from your end users, any of the cloud users can easily connect to this particular load balancer. So for that, I'll be creating a new public IP address or if you have existing one, you can use it. So I have this free public IP and uh, here I'm going to use the existing uh, resource group that is RG1 and the location should be same as your virtual machine you have created. So the location of my virtual machines are uh, Central India. So I'll take Central India and I'll create it. Okay, it's a public IP. I haven't used it. Okay, so I'll be using NLP1. So whichever the public IP is free, I have just used it. And uh, one more thing you always need to remember whenever you are creating uh, uh, virtual machines for your load balancers, ensure that all the virtual machines are in same ability group. So my uh, three of the virtual machines that are web servers are into same availability group. So I'll move into my LB that is load balancers. And here we have created the first load balancer. We have front end IP address that is a public IP which we have added. If you want to add more public IP address to this load balancer, you can. Same way I'm going to move and add the backend pools here. So in backend pools, we are going to add the machines. So this is a pool of machine which we are going to add it. So I'm just going to uh, name it as VMs, availability set. So it is asking you which availability set do you require? There is as AS1, that is availability set one, which contains three machines while AS2 contain one machine. I'm going to use availability set three. And here I need to add the target machine. So these are the three machines we have. So which will should be your targeted machine always. So this is my main server. I'll be targeting to web server one. And uh, you can configure the IP address for this uh, machine as well. So this is the 10.0.0.1 I'll be using. Once you have done with it, you can add the second target as well. But right now I require only one target to be created. Click on OK. And uh, you can see it is saving your load balancer backend pool. So once it is updated, you will be able to see your virtual machines over here and the virtual machines which you have added in one of your load balancer, you won't be able to connect this virtual machines to other load balancers. So once the load balancer is created, it is a kind of group you have created. So just have a look on it. You can see this is a VMs, which is a backend pool, which we have created. And these are the machines which we have. You get complete information over here. That means you have already created a backend pool. You can health, uh, you can check the health of your machines. You can add a health check for your uh, load balancers, which you have created health check one. Okay, you can create a health check for your HTTP or your TCP if you require. I can click on OK. So it will probe for the health of your virtual machines. Like if suppose my web server of one, which is a targeted machine fails or if it is going on maintenance. So the second machines that is a, my web server two will be, you know, deploying the services along with my web server three. So this is how generally we can uh, create um, load balancer where we can define the front end, back end, and we also we can define the health web probes. Also, we can create your load balancing rules where we can add the rule for uh, our machines who will be able to connect and which particular backend pool should be connected. For example, I'm going to create my rule one of this front end IP. We have only one front end IP as of now. And this is the port from where we are going to connect. Backend pool will be only this. So you can also create multiple backend pools. So which backend pool you want to define and which for rule uh, which you are creating, you will be creating for which backend pool you can define over here. 
and health check probe again we have only one we will be using this one same uh, session persistence for any client API or you need to define any client protocol you can define that and once you have done with that you can also check for floating IP direct server returns uh, I don't know uh, don't require any floating IP as of now because I haven't connected any database to it and click on OK so this will be saving our uh, rule which we have created same way we can also create an inbound rules this is this where the uh, load balancing rule from which particular port we can define the or deploy the services we have defined and will what will be the client uh, you know protocol or IP it is going to check same way you can also check or create an inbound rule separately for your load balancer so you can add it once this uh, balancing rules is updated you will be able to add my internet or your NAT rules as well so in one NAT rules you can add for the internal users you can see it is a front-end IP address IP version 6 associated with your uh, complete set of VM of your availability set and target virtual machine you can define so here you can secure your uh, load balancer from your internet rules as well and also you can define the targeted uh, you know rules you can create your health probes which will automatically probe the health of your machines and the web servers and this is the backend pools you can add more backend pools over here and the more front-end IP addresses so once you create more front-end IP address and you want to define more backend pools you can also link up your different backend pools with the front-end IP addresses or you can define multiple front-end IP for a same backend rule so this is what we have seen about your load balancer this is how we can create a load balancers of your virtual machines where generally we are deploying the application or your web services